Hi, I'm John Biggs with TechCrunch. We are here with Thor Fredriksson, CEO of Plain Vanilla Games. I met you in Iceland a few months ago, I guess it is now, yeah. and you told me about QuizUp, and now it's finally launching. So QuizUp is sort of a massively multiplayer trivia game, correct? Yeah, we, we kind of think of ourselves as, as well, reinventing the whole trivia genre on mobile. And, and it's something that we're extremely excited about. We're launching, we're launching the product, and well, we can't wait to see how, how people are going to like it. Okay, so how did you guys build this game? This seems like seems like something that, that they've already done with pub trivia, they've done it in very, very specific places, but this is a worldwide sort of situation? Well, the story really began, so we were originally from Iceland, which is not really the, the high-tech hub of the world, of course, but uh, what we did is we had this, this company called Play Manila, and we really wanted to do something, you know, extraordinary on, on the app, on this dynamic app market. Mm -hmm. So basically what we did is we looked at what were the most popular apps at that time and why they were popular. And we did notice that a lot of the really popular apps or games on mobile were actually based on gameplay that people already knew. They were based on perhaps, uh, you know, old board games. So for example, you have uh, Scrabble, which is an old board game that became Words with Friends. Mm -hmm. Or you had Pictionary that became uh, Draw Something. So what we did notice is that like out of these board games, there wasn't really anyone that really dominated the trivia space on mobile. You have, okay. of course, Trivial Pursuit, and you have trivia all over the world. It's, it's like a, it's a, it's a world global phenomenon. I mean, everyone likes trivia, sure. but no one has really done it properly on mobile. So we just started thinking, you know, why, why, what, what's wrong? Why haven't, hasn't anyone done that? So what we did discover in that process is that trivia and Trivial Pursuit is inherently an incredibly social experience. And it's even more so than, than we, we thought originally. I mean, you just think about it. Trivia, you have, you have all these board games, you have these quiz shows, you have pub quizzes. But imagine a family watching Jeopardy on TV, for example. You have like uh, the husband, the wife, and the two kids, and there's a question on screen. And what happens if, if there's a question on screen that someone knows the answer? Uh, you yell it out. You yell it out. And ruin it for everybody else. Yes, but <laughs> we thought, why do people do that? It's like okay. the only TV entertainment where people are actively yelling at the TV. So people are doing it because they want to show off just a little bit, even though it's only their family. But they, the dad wants to show the kids that he, he knows something. And that's really the core of trivia. People kind of have this instinct that they want to show what they know. And until then, most trivia games were just single-player experiences. So what we did, our mission when we started, was that we, went to, we decided that we wanted to make the first like, big multiplayer real-time trivia platform where people could compete in different various topics, communicate to each other, and show off in all kinds of trivia. OK, so why don't you show me how this thing works? Yeah, OK. So now we're playing against each other. It's me, Thor Fredrickson, versus you. And let's just start. It's all about computer and web stuff. So I'm going to answer these questions as quickly as possible, yes. right? Yes. So you can you get you have ten seconds to answer each question, and you get as many points as the timer on the clock says you have left. John. Mm. Uh, ah, what got wrong? So we're dead tied. Oh, okay. You can see that you actually can see my responses immediately when I push them, and that's been the major technology challenge to be able to make this really, really real time. So and where are you getting the questions from? Is there like a database of trivia questions? Yes, yeah, so that's, that's been our biggest you know, challenge in the last months. We are actually having dozens of writers writing questions for us. And at lunch now, we actually have more than 100,000 questions in our database with almost 200 topics. Oh, here we are. Oh, here we are which actually makes us effectively the biggest trivia game ever, ever made. And in terms of testing this, what was the impetus to create a game like this? Basically, our main thing that happened is that this is a classic story of a startup that starts up with one vision, and then in the process of realizing that vision, discovers a new opportunity. Mm -hmm. It's a very good example of that. You're, you're, you're beating me here. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> so the thing is that when we started, we really just wanted to make this real-time trivia game. Mm -hmm. People, you know, be challenged, be, be, be like matched up against random opponents. So 
we went to San Francisco, we got our seed funding uh, initially, and we started to build the platform. So when we built it, the, the real-time technology, we wanted to test it on a bigger market. So we started reaching out to the movie studios. And at that time, this is like uh, late 2012, there was like this, this one movie called Twilight. Mm -hmm. You've probably heard of it. Heard of it, yeah, yeah. Uh, it had like this massive fan base and reached out to their producers uh, at Lionsgate and asked if we could make like the official Twilight trivia game. And we were able to secure that deal. And when we launched it, it was a great success. I mean, we got like, you know, over a million registered users playing it. And what was even more enjoyable for us was that the, the user engagement we got was like absolutely over the roof, uh, like through the roof. Mm -hmm. We started to look at this in the context of social networking and mm -hmm. looked at Facebook. So Facebook is great, of course, but Facebook has one pretty big limitation. And that's the fact that in Facebook, you really only communicate with people that you know in real life. And it's not a technical limitation. You know, you can add anyone as a friend, but it's just socially unacceptable to be adding people that you don't know. It's almost kind of creepy. You know, mm -hmm. no, people know this, they have some friend that, that they don't know and they just ignore it. However, in another part of the, the internet, we have a totally different story. That's in multiplayer games, such as World of Warcraft or League of Legends. There, people actually get to know and become very good friends with people they've never met before. So we just thought, is this, is this something? Could we possibly tie these two worlds together? Tie social networking element of Facebook, tie the multiplayer gaming experience of multiplayer games, and add on top of that the layer of really niche interests, such as like the fans of Twilight or the fans of anything that's like very niche okay. interests. Could we make a platform where we could have people play each other and get to know each other and meet new people through their common interests or common passions, whether it's discovering people just around the corner or just somewhere else in, in the world. And this is basically the big idea that uh, QuizUp is now, is that it's an amazingly powerful way to play and play with your passions, see how good you are and what you like, and to get to know new people around the world or close by that share those passions. All right, very cool. Thank you very much, Thor. Uh, Thor Fredrickson, Plain Vanilla Games. This is the new game called Quiz Up, which is available now. I'm John Biggs with TechCrunch. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot.